It's because that's not how you make a deal. Deals are made when parties come together. They come to a table and they negotiate. Each side must give up something. It's values. I mean, we have to do something where there's value in exchange for something that it requires. That's what a deal is. A deal is really something that when we impose it on Israel and Palestine, we bring together a group of people that come up with something that's not going to happen with the United Nations. It will only further, very importantly, it will only further delegitimize Israel. It will be a catastrophe and a disaster for Israel. It's not going to happen, folks. And further, it would reward Palestinian terrorism because every day they're stabbing Israelis and even Americans. Just last week, American Taylor Allen Force, a West Point grad, phenomenal young person who served in Iraq and Afghanistan, was murdered in the street by a knife-wielding Palestinian. You don't reward behavior like that. You can not do it. There's only one way you treat that kind of behavior. You have to confront it. So it's not up to the United Nations to, pollute, to really go with a solution. It's really the parties that must negotiate a resolution themselves. They have no choice. They have to do it themselves, or it will never hold up anyway. The United States 